a big wingman welcome and thank you for joining me on the wingman's path to positivity to raising your vibration to bringing about a more joyous life for you for your loved ones for your family for your friends for your community again as always I thank you and speaking of community I've got a practice today that I just absolutely love and have been doing um, for, for a few years now, ever since I heard from it, from a gentleman by the name of Dr. Joe Vitale. I'm not sure if you've heard that name. He was one of the original people on The Secret. Well, Dr. Joe met with a gentleman, a therapist from Hawaii. And that's where we get our practice today, from the great state of Hawaii. And the name of the practice is Ho. A pono pono. Ho? A pono pono. It's hard to even say it, right? Ho a pono pono started with a therapist at a men uh, at a uh, a mentally uh, award for the criminally insane. And he agreed to go there and pr and work with these patients without ever seeing them. Now we talk about community and all of us being connected. Well, this takes it to another level because what Dr. Len did, the psychologist did, was he read the patient's charts and then he would practice healing himself. How's that? He practiced healing himself of whatever was wrong with the patient and rumor has it, the patient would get healed. Now, it's hard to imagine, but this takes responsibility and, and community and, and all of us being connected to a new level. When I think of being responsible for myself, I think of, or, be, or taking total responsibility, I think of taking responsibility for my own actions and for my own life. This says, take responsibility for everyone and heal everyone by healing yourself. Heal everyone by healing yourself. Ho'oponopono is a healing practice and we're going to do it today and you'll see if it works. I started doing it after my time in Thailand with the Zen master where I really got into the idea of karma and what you put out you get back. And I when I read about Ho Opono Pono I felt like wow this is pretty cool. This would be something I could use to clean up my karma. To clean up my karma and I'll tell you what I mean by that. If you believe in karma, and whether you don't or not, you can do the practice with us, and it's just a practice to, to give a try. It's an exercise. You don't have to believe or not. But my belief in karma runs so deep that I believe that things from years and years and years ago, and actually if you believe in past lives, you would believe that from past lives, your karma can come back and get you. So what I want to do is constantly be cleaning up my karma. Now, oftentimes you might have a thought, you don't even realize you have a negative thought about someone or something. And maybe that sticks in your subconscious without you even realizing it. You know, it certainly is possible. And then, you, you know, you, you hold on to something. It happens all the time. As a matter of fact, my wife and I were just talking about, Jan and I were just talking about something where she said, wow, you've been holding on, you know, you've been holding on to that for a while. And I was like, wow, I guess I have been. I think karma can be the same way. And I think some things that can affect you in that way you might not even realize you're holding on to. So doing this practice will help you, at least it's helped me tremendously, to clean up my karma, to feel better about everything I do, to forgive myself and to forgive those around me. And the practice is four statements. It's, originally I read it as, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, I love you. For me, I found that it, it flowed easier when I said, I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, and thank you. And so those four statements, I want you to say that with me for one minute, and I want us to get it, as always, into our subconscious. Because when you want to talk about raising your vibration, it starts with eliminating negative vibrations. It starts with eliminating any of the negatives that have gotten into your subconscious, right? And this is such a great way. I know I've done it a lot of times. I've done this practice many times where I've just sat there saying, I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you. Now you might ask, who are you saying you're sorry to, or thank you, or whatever? And I think of it either as I'm saying it to myself, my future self, the universe, what have you. You can say it to whomever you want to say it to, but just say those words. And practice the feeling of, I love you, I'm sorry. Practice the feeling 
of being sorry if you've hurt anyone. Practice the feeling of asking for forgiveness. Practice the feeling of love when you're saying love. Give it a try with me, All right? I appreciate, as always, you being here and you sharing your energy with me. I thank you for that. I thank you for you sharing your energy with me. So let's do it. Let's practice it. We'll say it for one minute. Let's see if we can get it into our subconscious and let's see how that feels and see if that helps us raise our vibe and eliminate any negatives that may be, that may be blocking us from living the life we choose, from living a, a, a more joyous life, from raising our vibration and bringing in more positive energy. I love what the sun's doing here with, my, with the picture. I don't know if it shows the same with you guys. But anyway, give it a shot. Let's say it right now. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. <sighs> That's right. Breathe that in. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. This flows nicely, doesn't it? I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, and thank you. I love you. You can be talking to the universe, you can be talking to yourself, you can be talking to, as Dr. Len did, to, to a complete stranger who he was reading his file. I'm sorry, apologize for any thoughts or negative actions that you had over the past couple days, over the past day. Please forgive me, that's right, ask the universe or ask yourself for forgiveness. Thank you. Always end with thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. And thank you. How's that feel? It should feel very, very cleansing. That's how it's felt for me, and I hope it feels the same for you. As always, I thank you for joining me on the wingman's path to positivity. Because I know, as we've discussed many times before, the more of us that practice this positivity, that share this positivity, that bring more positivity into our lives, well, we end up bringing it into the lives of our loved ones, our families, our friends, our communities, our neighbors. And when we start doing that, man, it just grows and grows and grows. And as it does, it makes it that much easier for you to bring more positivity into your life. So I thank you again for joining me. I thank you for sharing these practices with your community and helping your community grow in positivity and, and higher vibrations. And as always, I appreciate you being here and sharing your energy. Have a wonderful day, one where you feel the love, clean your vibration, and feel grateful for doing so. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Your wingman Michael, signing off.